But I never like when men make assumptions. I don't like when they make assumptions. That they have so much going on in their brains from their own experiences that they place upon the woman these terrible assumptions. I.e., you don't look like the type that would be in the restaurant that I was in. And now I'm wearing a protection ring. And I, and I just, you know, I said, no, no protection ring. I just like to wear rings. That's it. They said, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Well, um, so you, you seeing anybody? You know, I, you know, I'd like to take you out. Well, now let me just say this. Certainly, that was not happening at all. I wasn't interested. I let them know I'm in a relationship. I don't usually even say that because it's really none of their business, right? But um, if I wasn't, if I wasn't in a relationship. That wouldn't be the type of man that I would be interested in. So I'm giving you ladies this example because men give indicators immediately on that let you know to say next, next, not interested. Now some men would say, well, he was just trying to make conversation, right? But I think it's best to approach a woman by just having regular, natural dialogue. He already created a strained situation, making assumptions on the basis of his own trauma when it comes to women. And uh, while men are, you know, on an ongoing basis talking about women, uh, speaking negatively about them, you know, clearly they are traumatized, which is why it leads them to talk about, and of course I'm generalizing, I'm talking about those ones that are traumatized, it kind of leads them uh, down a terrible road of making assumptions, already hurt because of whatever they endured, and now they're going to place upon you their hurt their rejection, their pain, their angst, their whatever it is that's going in their nice little heads. You know what I mean? So, for those of you women, now some of you might pursue that conversation. You would hear him and get the impression that, oh, here's a, a, a more mature man uh, and he's single. That would be the assumption immediately because he's approaching you. Um, so for any single women uh, who are more mature, you might be more inclined to give this type of man um, to give him some play, so to speak. Because hey, he's artsy, right? He's at the uh, paint, you know, uh, what do you paint with a twist event? And uh, so you think of him as artsy or open-minded or adventurous or creative or something. Buyer beware, okay? Not because he was communicating with you in that type of forum. What a lovely forum to meet someone if uh, down the road they actually become a friend of yours, right? A friend. I didn't say your man, I didn't say in a relationship, I didn't say your husband. I just said it would be a nice uh, environment to meet someone very unexpectedly, right? And pursue a friendship. But just be careful because you don't want to get yourself involved with a man who makes assumptions about you and express them to you so as to make you feel uh, uncomfortable, inadequate, you know. Now for me, I wasn't feeling uncomfortable or inadequate, but it can make a woman 
feel that way. For me, I was thinking, oh, here we go. It's one of these types. Um, because if a woman didn't know what a protection ring is, um, perhaps this man could have presented it in a different type of way um, later on after having said just the right things to create a situation that would have them be able to continue a conversation with them and then maybe later on talk about the protection ring right but if you're trying to crack on a woman so to speak um and I guess that's the difference cracking on a woman versus really sincerely wanting to get to know her you wouldn't make these types of assumptions and place them upon the woman that you would like to talk to you've already attacked her a little bit you know already making the assumptions if I were to wear this so called protection ring the assumption is that I'm so hurt you know, so much has happened to me that no, no, no men, no more men. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to look at you. It's the assumption because you're a mature woman. So the assumption is you're single. You've been single for a long time. Uh, your options are few. Um, you might be a little desperate or you might not want to be hurt any longer by a man. So you wear jewelry that states I don't want you. Stay away. I'm too traumatized. Don't let that stuff fool you because in fact he was the one that was traumatized and positioned himself so that he would not be rejected. But nonetheless he was rejected anyway. Now I was nice about it you know, uh, and no matter what, had I, you know, like I said, had I been single, um, probably wouldn't be interested in this type of male, um, and also probably wouldn't be looking, because that's just, again, that's just not how I've been, you know, looking around, is it him, is it him, because, check back on previous videos, I have had my share of opportunities to meet men all over the world, okay, <laughs> as a traveler, I've had opportunities to meet men from all over, okay, not just in my neighborhood, and that wasn't my neighborhood, but not just in my small vicinity, you know, so just, um, just be mindful, okay, be mindful of the man that approaches you and I'm speaking to more mature single women who are interested in developing friendships and dating. I'm not going to take you to carry it on to anything further because right now that's all you need to be doing if you're interested in uh, you know getting to know um, men you know developing these uh, friendships. Be mindful and look at the signs and recognize that it's not always you because men are not making assumptions, guys. But men do have a tendency who are traumatized. And you'll see a lot of that on YouTube when you hear men talk terribly about women, especially women of color. They've been traumatized. They've had bad experiences. Now, when I listen to them, the likelihood of them being well-versed, universal, and traveling, they have these experiences in their neighborhood. They don't really, you know, travel around and get to know a variety of different women from different walks of life. They pretty much limit themselves to one walk of life, whatever that is, and then attack, 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 talk to, become disappointed, attack some more, you know, that's generally how it goes with them and that's un that's unfortunate so i think that's all i gotta say have fun out there ladies for any of you who are interested in um dating and uh i shall see you really really soon
if you like this video you like the message please hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for and i will talk to you later smooches and hugs